Hi everybody, welcome back to part three. Uh, final part, which we'll get done over the next few minutes. I've done a little bit more penning and uh, grinding. The block is more or less finished now, apart from the uh, final coating, whatever we decide to apply. It's been quite difficult on the grinding side because of uh, the amount of shell fragments and ammonite fragments within the within the matrix you're not going to get a perfect grind on it to get a perfect grind you really need just a limestone fascia if it's full of fragments then you get hard soft hard soft and you can get ridging appearing when you grind it's very difficult to uh, get rid of however saying that it's not come out too bad considering um, I've got just a little bit more grinding and penning then we'll go over the finishes um, I'll show you a couple that I use and uh, see how they go on first of all I'll try and show the difference between the original rough grind and the second grind a bit smoother bit I don't know if you can see this in this light Shuffy. this has just been gone round for a second time with a smoother bit this is the rough grind here the original grind you can probably see how it's slightly rippled and rough I'm going to finish smooth grinding this out a little bit in a few minutes and then we're going to touch up around the ammonites with a pen and hopefully finish the grinding off with uh, some more fine bits okay so I've uh, fine ground most of the block now I'll just take my mask off so you can hear me <laughs> I've fine, fine ground most of the block now it's not finished by a, a long way but uh, it's got to the stage now where I'm going to clean up the ammonites with a pen and then finish off the grind so we'll put the pen on and get on with that Right, I've penned down around the ammonites now, giving them a little bit more relief. They tend to stand out a little bit more. The next job is the very fine round bit and touch up around the ammonites, then just quickly go over the rest of the block on the main matrix and finish that off. I've had quite a few people ask me, how do you know when to stop? <laughs> I'm afraid that usually comes down to experience. You generally find with these, this type of block with a smaller ammonite in, I usually go down to about about just under the keel, just over halfway. The problem with the small ammonites is if you try and undercut them completely, they will pop, and then you'll end up with a pile of ammonites and a lump of empty matrix. But at the end of the day. I would say to you, stop when you're happy.
Right, I think we'll get the small bit in the grinder and we'll finish off around the ammonites. you can all see that what I've actually done is I've air braided the background so you can actually see the amount of shells and fragments of ammonite in there it's, it was actually quite bad um, it, it doesn't really go for a good grind that but uh, it's not come out too bad if you notice I've coated these two ammonites that's what I would normally use on ammonites this is what I prefer it's called Paraloid B72 I think I've mentioned it in a few other videos that I've uh, put up at some time or other. Uh, there are one or two finishes very similar. That comes basically in like a plastic crystal form and you need acetone or a similar substance to uh, dissolve it. The amount of crystals via the amount of acetone obviously um, gives you the uh, depth of finish high gloss or hardly any gloss the less crystals you put in the weaker the finish there's also another little finish that's uh, been out quite a few years now and it's uh, called fossil finish varnish this is produced by Ken Mannion and uh, is the only guy I think that uh, actually produces anything like this it's especially formulated for fossils and um, what I'll do now is I'll just coat a couple more so you can see the difference in the finish is a bit stiff with a paraloid right As you can see, it's a little bit gl more glossy than the Paraloid. It does tend to bring the colour out a bit more. 
quite a good finish but I say that that's only available from Ken Mannion let's try another one going a bit off of the brush today <laughs> I think I'm going to be cleaning the matrix up again I don't know if you can see the difference here more gloss and it slightly brings the colour out better with the uh, Kermanian varnish right so I'll get on with this I'll uh, clean up the matrix which I've caught coat the rest of the ammonites and I'll let you have a look when I'm done okay there we go not a bad little block not perfect by a long way if I am trying to show how I prep things occasionally I do try to prep the the average sort of thing you would find on the beach not some of these uh, really fantastic fossils they're far and few between this is a sort of block that your average uh, collector will pick up not the best not the worst not come out too bad. I've got another block to finish now. But, uh, gonna get this done. I'm gonna take the bait well with me. I think on Saturday, quite an interesting one. This Hyposaurus. But when we turn it round, it has Dactylosaurus, Nodiclosaurus. And I'm not sure if there's two types of Dac in there. But so I've got to get that finished for the weekend an interesting block that and I've had that a few years but I never got around to doing it get that finished I think well, that's better I had a bit of a fluey tight cold last couple of weeks and uh, so if there's any funny breathing noises on the video you'll, you'll know what it is <laughs> uh, I hope everybody found that useful uh, again not aimed at uh, showing you how this is the way you do it and this isn't it's uh, just the way I do things and hopefully it will uh, <coughs> excuse me hopefully it will uh, help a few of the uh, newcomers to prepping get stuck in oh just before I finally depart uh, a message for the lads on the Ammonite forum uh, I'll be at Bakewell in the morning Saturday um, I've left my phone number up there so if anybody will fancy a cuppa and a natter just give us a bell if you don't see me I'll be there somewhere bye for now